Hi everyone! Welcome to the Piano Keys. I'm so glad that you're here. In this video, I'm going to teach you a practice technique that I do a lot with my students, and I call it the plus one technique. This is not anything you're probably going to find in a book on piano practicing, but it works for me and it has worked for all the students that I use it with. Just something to keep in mind, there's practicing and then there's smart practicing. So smart practicing is where you do the practice step that is appropriate to what you're practicing. So just like if you were to build a house, you would not just use one tool like a hammer <laughs> for the entire building of the house. In your uh, piano practice, there's not just one way of practicing. Most people, what they do is they'll just play over and over, hoping to get it right. And they call it practice. And it's not really their fault. And if you do this, it's not really your fault because maybe you haven't been taught that there are different ways of practicing. So because I have so many years of performing and studying and teaching, um, I can help you with different ways of practicing. So you know how sometimes you play a fast run and it just, some of the notes don't sound and it's uneven and you know it could be better but you're not sure how to do it better. This practice technique is gonna help you with that. The thing is, up front, it might look like it's really time consuming, but in the long run, what you're going to do is learn your fast runs and putting the hands together in a very reliable way so that you'll have to spend less time practicing and you'll feel a lot more comfortable with what you're playing. So before I tell you how to do this practice step, I just want to remind you to join my Facebook group, Piano Practice Tips, because there you'll be in a community of people who are also studying piano and um, you'll get lots of help in that group, Piano Practice Tips. So the plus one technique is basically just what it sounds like. You add one event at a time to whatever you're practicing. So I'm going to teach you through an example because that's really the best way to learn. And I've chosen a piece by Bach. Now everybody agrees that Bach is really difficult to play unless you're playing like the baby pieces because what happens is each hand is doing its own thing. So Bach does a lot of what we call counterpoint, meaning there are different melodies happening at the same time. So we're going to take um, the A minor invention and we're going to work with that to help you understand this practice technique. Just uh, something to keep in mind. When we're practicing, we want to make sure that we're using good technique habits, and that means relaxed wrist, using gravity to help you play, round fingers. If you'd like to learn how to play like that, then for sure check out my technique course called Become a Piano Superhero. People that are taking the course have told me that it has completely transformed the way that they're playing, and if you are in piano practice tips, you can ask the people there who have taken it and they'll give you um, their experiences with it. The best thing to do is to be at your piano so that you can also practice with me because information, if you don't put it to use, you'll forget it and it will just leave and it's not really going to help you. So you want to put the information to use pretty much as soon as you learn it and then come back and review it from time to time so that you can remember what to do. So I'll play a couple of measures of this piece, just in case you're not familiar with it yet, you'll get kind of an idea of what it's supposed to sound like. We're only going to do one measure of that. So if we look at the first measure of this invention, you can see that the right hand starts um, an arpeggiated pattern while the left hand is playing a counter melody and then the left hand takes the arpeggiated pattern while the right hand is doing its own counter mel melody. So there's already a bunch happening from the very first measure of this piece and it doesn't get any easier. So what we're going to do is learn the left hand first by itself then the right hand. So we'll start with the left hand. We're going to do literally one thing which is play the first note. <laughs> okay, so let's do that three times. Now we're going to add one thing, right? Plus one, which is going to be this note. So we're going to play from the low A to the high A. Let's do that three times. Here we go. That's one. 
two, three. All right, now we're gonna add one note from here, which is the G sharp third finger. Okay, so let's play those three notes. Here we go, A and then G sharp. That's one. That's two. That's three. Now we're gonna add one more note, and that's the A with second finger right here. So let's play those four notes. Here we go. Let's do it again. One more time. Here we go. Now keep in mind that I'm using my wrist, I'm playing with round fingers, I'm using gravity, I'm sitting in a, a good position to the piano. My hand is not down here, I'm not playing like this. If you're playing like this, um, I, I can't guarantee you any results at all because your technique is off. <laughs> okay, so now we're gonna add, we already did this, we're going to add one note, this A, this E down here. So let's play it. A, G sharp, A, E. Okay, here we go. Breathe, and breathe is when we kind of lift our wrist. Here we go. A, G sharp, A, E. So the rhythm is one and two and three, E. Let's do that three times. Ready, go. One and two and three, E. If you're not sure why I'm counting like this, you can learn in piano boot camp or in instant piano. So there's a lot to learn in music. It's really impossible to give you everything in one course or one one video. Okay, so depends on how far you want to get into it. So let's do that one more time. Ready and one and two and three E. Now we're gonna add one note. Now we're just gonna go back to that A again. So watch this one and two and three e and so you see we just added one note so let's go from the beginning ready and one and two and three e and let's do it again ready go one and two and three e and let's do it one more time Ready, go. One, and, two, and, three, E, and. You might need to pause and do it a few more times, you know, depending on how much um, experience you had playing, but um, don't go on until you got this, okay? Then we're going to add the C with the thumb. So watch it one time. One, and, two, and, three, E, and, uh. All right, let's do it together, we'll go a little slower. Ready, and one, and two, and three, E, and a. Uh. Let's do it again. Ready, and one, and two, and three, E, and a. Uh. One more time. Ready, and one, and two, and three, E, and uh. If you need to pause and do that a few more times to feel comfortable, that's fine, okay? Three is just a number I picked so that the video isn't, you know, three hours long. But you know, if you, if you can do it three times really well and comfortably, then you pretty much know it. Now, we did this, we're going to add one note. Second finger on B. Watch it once. And one, and two, and three, E, and a four. All right, let's do it together. Here we go. One, and two, and three, E, and a four. Let's go again. Ready, and one, and two, and three, E, and a four. One more time. Ready, and one, and two, and three, E, and a four. Now we're gonna add
add one note, which is that E, fifth finger. Let's see if we can do it together. Ready, and one, and two, and three, E, and a four, E. Let's go again. Ready, go. One, and two, and three, E, and a four, E. One more time. Ready, and one, and two, and three, E, and a four, E. The next thing we're going to add, the next plus one, we just go back to this B. All right, let's play together. Ready, and one, and two, and three, E, and a four, E, and. Again, ready, go. One, and two, and three, E, and a four, E, and. Let's go again. Ready, and one, and two, and three, E, and a four, E, and. Okay, so again, pause and practice if you need to. It's coming very easily for me, both because I know this piece really well, and you know, I've been playing a long time. So the next thing we're going to add is first finger on D. Okay, let's do it from the beginning. Ready, and one, and two, and three, E, and a, four, E, and a. Let's do it again. Ready, and one, and two, and three, E, and a, four, E, and a. Let's do it one more time, then I'm going to give you a huge tip, okay? Ready, and one, and two, and three, E, and a, four, E, and a. Now let's say you're playing this and you have a mistake. You're not playing it uh, as smoothly as I am. Let's say you're doing something like this. One, and two, and three, E, and then you're stuck. You're not sure where to go or you make a wrong mistake, a uh, wrong note or something. All right, so this is the note that you're missing, right? So here's what you do. You play it from the beginning. One, and, two, and, three, E, and. And you stop on the note. The note that's giving you trouble, you just stop on it. Play it and stay there. Then you can do it as many times as you need to as, until you have that note. Okay? You can use this in any passage that's giving you trouble. If you're playing Fantasy Impromptu, if you're playing Beethoven Moonlight Sonata, or if you're playing anything at all of any um, you know, level of difficulty, this will help you. All right, so if you like this video, make sure that you click the like button and leave me a comment so that I don't disappear in the YouTube algorithm. All right, so I'm gonna pretend that we've practiced that left hand enough times for each and every one of you to get it. So you practice that. Now we're gonna learn the right hand, one note at a time, the plus one technique. So here's E. Let's play E three times. Okay, next thing is A. So we're going to add A to it, second finger. We play E, A. Let's do that three times. And again, again, all right, that's three. The next thing we add is fourth finger C. So let's play the E, the A, and the C. Ready, and E, A, C. Let's do it again. And E, A, C, and E, A, C. Next thing we're adding, the next plus one, is B, third finger. So let me play it one time and I'll, I'll add the counting this time so that when we put it together with the left hand, it'll make sense. One, E, and a, two. Let's play that together. 
Make sure you have round fingers, relax your, your wrist and drop your shoulders. So I'll say one and then we'll come in on the E, okay? One, E, and a, two. Let's do it again. One, E, and a, two. One more time. One, E, and a, two. Next thing we're adding is the E, first finger, which is the first note that we played. So let's do it. One, E, and a, two, E. Let's go again. One, E, and a, two, E. One more time. One, E, and a, two, E. Remember that you can pause the video whenever you need to to practice as many times as you need to. The next thing we're going to add is second finger on B. Watch it once. One, E, and a, two, E, and. Let's do it together. Ready? One, E, and a, two, E, and. Again, one, E, and a, two, E, and. One more time. One, E, and a, two, E, and. If this is too fast for you, put the video on 0.75 speed, okay? Next thing we're gonna add is fourth finger on D. All right, let's do it. One, E, and a, two, E, and a. Again, one, E, and a, two, E, and a. One more time. One, E, and a, two, E, and a. So you might be saying, oh my goodness, are you kidding me? This is gonna take forever. No, it will not. Plus, you'll make sure that you know every single note of everything that you're playing, okay? So, we did this. Now we're here, we're gonna add third finger on C. All right, let's do that much. One, E, and a, two, E, and a, three. Let's go again. One, E, and a, two, E, and a, three. One more time. One, E, and a, two, E, and a, three. By the way, when you practice like this, you're priming your mind to think like a musician. So as you practice, it'll take fewer and fewer rep repetitions as you keep going with your piano study because now it's like you've prepared the soil and it's like nice rich soil so whatever you plant in it is going to grow and bloom much better okay so we did now we're going to add fifth finger on e okay so watch me once for the rhythm one e and a two e and a three and let's go one E and a two E and a three and again one E and a two E and a three and okay we only have two more notes to go so our next note is G sharp second finger Let's do it together. One, E, and a, two, E, and a, three, and four. Let's go again. One, E, and a, two, E, and a, three, Four. One more time. One, E, and a, two, E, and a, three, and four. Now, we're going to do one more note. We're just going back to that E with a fifth finger. So, let's go from the top. One, E, and a, two, E, and a, three, and four, and. B 
before we do it again, I just um, had a question in my mind that you might be asking. Do Am I saying that you have to learn every piece like this? No way, no. Just whatever is giving you trouble. I just happened to pick this one measure to work on because um, you know it's pretty challenging and um, it shows what, what I'm demonstrating. So no, you don't have to learn every piece like that, but whatever it is that you're playing, if you find that you're you know missing notes or you can't put the hands together in one passage or something, then practice like that, like this, okay? So I'm not saying you have to learn every piece like this. So let's go again. One, E, and a, two, E, and a, three, and four, and. One more time. One, E, and a, two, E, and a, three, and four, Okay, so now we're going to assume that we know each hand really well. We're going to put the hands together one thing at a time. So first, left hand plays by itself. Okay, we did that three times. Now we're going to do that and we're going to add the right hand note that comes next, like this. One, E. And notice I'm lifting as soon as the right hand plays because I'm going to be doing that when I'm playing the piece, okay? So you want to make sure that you're doing all the movements that are appropriate to the passage that you're playing. So let's do that. And one E. Again, one E. Again, one E. Now, as you can see on the music, the next thing that happens is hands together, which is this. Okay, so both hands play A, right hand, second finger, left hand, first finger. Watch me once. One, E, and. Let's do that. Ready, go. One, E, and. Again. One, E, and. One more time. One, E, and. Okay, next thing that happens is right hand plays by itself. The C. So let's play that much. Ready, go. One, E, and a. Again, here we go. One, E, and a. One more time. Ready, go. One, E, and a. All right, pause here and practice that if, if you feel like you can't go on yet, okay? Next thing that happens is the right hand plays by itself. B, okay? Let's do that. Ready? Go. One, E, and a, two. Again. Ready, go. One, E, and a, two. Remember, this is only for the passages that give you trouble. Ready, and. One, E, and a, two. I don't know if we did three times, but let's move on. Now, the right hand plays by itself the E. The left hand's gonna lift. Okay? So let's do it together. Ready, go. One, E, and a, two, E. See how I lifted my left hand and I said E? Let's do it again. Ready, go. One, E, and a, two, E. One more time. Ready, go. One, E. And a, two, E. All right? Comment below, tell me if this is helping you. <laughs> okay, so now the next we're going to add is the B in the right hand, G sharp in the left hand. So let's play from the beginning. Here we go. One, E, and a, two, E, and. Let's go again. Ready, go. One, E, and a, two, E, and. Again, ready, go. One, E, and a, two, E, and. Next thing you're going to add is just the right hand by itself on the D, 
and the left hand can lift. All right, so watch it one time. One, E, and a, two, E, and a. Okay, let's go together. Ready, go. One, E, and a, two, E, and a. Remember, if it's too fast, you can slow it down. 0.75 works just great. Ready, go. One, E, and a, two, E, and a. Now, the next thing that happens is hands together. Right hand's on C, left hand's on A, like that. We're going to stop it there. All right, let's take it from the top. Here we go. One, E, and a, two, E, and a. Okay, let's go again. Ready, go. One, E, and a, two, E, and a, three. One more time. Ready, go. One, E, and a, two, E, and a, three. Now, the next thing that happens is left hand plays by itself, the E, and the right hand's gonna lift. Like that. So let's do until there. Ready, go. One, E, and a, two, E, and a, three, E. All right, do it again. Ready, go. One, E, and a, two, E, and a, three, E. One more time. Ready, go. One, E, and a, two, E, and a, three, E. Now we're going to add, going back to that, A with the left hand, right hand on E. That. Okay, let's go from the top. Ready, go. One, E, and a, two, E, and a, three, E, and. Let's go again. Ready, go. One, E, and a, two, E, and a, three, E, and. One more time. Ready, go. One, E, and a, two, E, and a, three, E, and. From here, left hand plays by itself, C, and the right hand lifts. When I say hand, I mean wrist. <laughs> All right, ready, go. One, E, and a, two, E, and a, three, E, and a. Let's go again. Ready, go. One, E, and a, two, E, and a, three, E, and a. One more time. Ready, go. One, E, and a, two, E, and a, three, E, and a. From here, left hand's gonna play B, right hand's gonna play G sharp, like that. Let's go. We're almost at the end of this measure, and again, remember, this is only for practicing places that give you some trouble. All right, ready, go. One, E, and a, two, E, and a, three, E, and a, four. Okay, go again. Ready, go. One, E, and a, two, E, and a, three, E, and a, four. So you're just teaching your muscles all the steps involved in what you're playing. Ready, go. One, E, and a, two, E, and a, three, E, and a, four. 
next thing we're going to add is fifth finger on E in the left hand and the right hand lifting. Okay? And you do have to practice the lifts because it's a motion. You know, it's a movement. Just because you're not playing doesn't mean you're not moving. So let's go from the beginning. Here we go. One, E, and a, two, E, and a, three, E, and a, four, E. Again, ready, go. One, E, and a, two, E, and a, three, E, and a, four, E. One more time. Ready, go. One, E, and a, two, E, and a, three, E, and a, four, E. We're almost there. <laughs> Next thing we're adding is we're going back to the B with the left hand, and right hand's going to that E, which is why we were picking up to begin with. So that's what we're adding. Okay, you ready? Let's go. Here we go. One, E, and a, two, E, and a, three, E, and a, four, E, and. Again, ready? One, E, and a, two, E, and a, three, E, and a, four, E, and one more time. Ready, go. One, E, and a, two, E, and a, three, E, and a, four, just adding one more thing which is the left hand playing D and the right hand lifting okay so let's do that from the top we're almost there ready go one E and a two E and a three E and a four E and a ready go one Ready, go. One, E, and a, two, E, and a, three, E, and a, four, E, and a. Okay, so again, this is only for the places that are giving you trouble either with like, you know, playing the notes or putting the hands together. Okay, so if you can play one hand by itself just fine and the other hand by itself just fine, then you don't have to do this technique for each hand by itself, just for when you're putting the hands together. And that's my plus one practice technique. I hope that it helped you. Let me know in the comments what piece you're working on and how you're going to apply this practice technique. Check out my website, thepianokeys.com, for lots of cool resources for you. And sometimes I post on Instagram, thepianokeystpk. Keep practicing, have fun, and